Good evening. First tonight at 10, the WDSU I team has learned that the city of New Orleans is investigating a matter at the youth detention center in Gentilly. A mother claims her daughter got pregnant while being held at the facility. And tonight, she wants to know how that happened. WDSU I team reporter Travers Mackle has more in this story you'll see only on 6. In just a few weeks old, the city's new youth studies center on Bayou St. John is the centerpiece for a juvenile criminal justice complex and a restart for a much maligned detention facility. The center houses underage offenders, boys and girls. Deborah Smallwood's daughter is being kept here. Because she always called us on weekend, weekdays. But this call was different. And she called and she said, um, Mama, I said, well, she said, I'm pregnant. I said, you're pregnant. I said, how you get pregnant? She said, she said, Smallwood says her daughter, who we are not identifying due to her age, she's 15, is being held on armed robbery charges and has been at the Youth Study Center, the old and now brand new facility since February. Uh, almost seven months. And this mother claims her daughter told her she's two months pregnant. She says her daughter told her she had sexual intercourse with a male inmate inside the jail. And she should, it should never happen, period. This facility is run by the city of New Orleans. A city hall spokesperson tells us they're aware of the situation and are investigating the allegations. The city just opened this facility in the last 60 days, replacing an older, outdated youth prison. It brings the city into compliance with reforms that grew from a class action lawsuit filed a few years ago by the Juvenile Justice Project of Louisiana. The old facility was plagued with problems like use of shackles on detainees, building safety concerns, and food and medical issues. Smallwood is encouraged that the city is investigating. That should have never happened. They should have been somebody overhaul or watching at all times. On your side in Gentilly, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News. Legal analyst Robert Jenkins says if a city investigation corroborates Smallwood's daughter's story, then criminal charges could be an option moving forward. He says while incarcerated, inmates have a right to be protected. In the